Hey Stampers, it's Gina again and I was asked by one lady in chat the other night if I would make a gatefold shutter card. So I have made one before and I called it something totally different. I think back then it was a trifold shutter card but where they got that from I don't know but uh, I'm going to show you the one I've made and I've done a little bit of uh, decorating as well. Finally using some of these beautiful peacock papers. I put them away, I forgot they were there and now I've just pulled them back out. So this is my card. I've also teamed it up with the or oh, no, 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 Sia Silhouette, is it? Star Oh, I'll get there in the end. I'll find the name now, it's on the back. Yeah, Sia Silhouette Designer Series paper. And it comes in doesn't even come in this beautiful peacock colour, but I think it looks nice on there because I just think it looks nice. So I added an extra section on the front. I've added a, uh, a little gem. I might have to glue that into place. I think I will, you know, because it looks like it's coming off. So let me just pick that up with my pokey tool. And then what I'll do, I'll put a dab of glue. It will dry clear. And then I'll make sure that won't come off then. And she says it will get stuck down. Just leave that to dry. That'd be great and it won't come off now. But I just wanted to add a little splash of colour from those gorgeous peacock as well. These gorgeous colours and I love the green. So I added one there, there and on top of the, um, the flower itself. The stamp set I'm using is Daisy Lane. Because I thought the sentiments were just perfect for this card. I've put smile and then in this centre it says the best moments in life happen with you. And then I just brushed it off with a little bit of fern to coincide with the mossy meadow that's on the front. So, and then when you open it up it reveals its message. And there it is. The best moments in life happen with you. You could decorate these sections but you might get them trapped. You could uh, stamp on those if you wanted to. Uh, maybe the little daisy that comes in the set. But I think it's just perfect on its own. And as you start to see it close in, your message gets hidden. And I've added one of those beautiful scallop circles on there as well. We've not wasted any of the card because on the back here. And... Then I added another one, but I only glued that side down. This time, because I'm using number five and six on the scallop for the inside opening, what I'm going to do this time on this outside, because there's quite a good gap, I'm going to use four and five on this section. So this scalloped edge will sit just inside this, the actual circle itself so I can glue it all the way around because it's loose here and I'm not really fussed on that so what I did I opened it up I added a tiny tiny little bit of tape and then I just smushed over it until there was no stickiness left whatsoever but it's not too noticeable but isn't that a beautiful card absolutely love it and then your hidden message it's gone when you close it. Um, this measures five and a half by five and a half. I have been gifted some envelopes and a card kit um, with six by six envelopes in, but I need to send away for cello bags because I don't have any of that size. And I normally do order six by sixes. I just don't do order any other sizes because uh, I don't need it. If I'm going to make a card, it's normally five and a half by five and a half or six by six. And, or it's this, uh, our standard A4, which is a quarter of an A4, so it's five and seven eighths by four and one eighth. So I only buy envelopes and saddle bags for those. So yeah, it's absolutely gorgeous. I'm going to show you how I made it. We're going to cut the DSP together as well because I haven't done that yet. Uh, the bow is from this beautiful denim ribbon, absolutely gorgeous. We'll make that later. I've got, oh look, and these. Are just the little bits that are left over from when I cut the first pieces so they'll go in my scraps bin. I'm using thick whisper white 
for these three pieces. Now this piece is 11 by five and a half. This is normal Whisper White and that's the piece that you see down the center. You don't need it to be thick. These I've used thick because it's being open and closed all the time and you don't want nothing flimsy. So this piece is three and a half by six and we're gonna score this at half an inch. These two pieces are the Thick Whisper White and these measure two and three quarters by three and seven eighths and we're gonna score these at three eighths of an inch. And then this is our gorgeous card which is like I'm saying is 11 by five and a half and we're gonna score both sides of, of this as well. Then we're gonna cut our DSP to go on our beautiful card. So let's get the cutting done first because I've got my cutting machine out ready. So I, let me just check the dirt in a minute. Yeah, that's perfect. So I'm gonna take this piece down to five and a quarter because all your pieces will be five and a quarter. And I can save that strip then for other cards. Fingers crossed, I'm hoping I've got enough here. And you need uh, one piece to be three and a quarter. Then you need two pieces at two and a quarter, is it? No, two and a half. One. And then you need two, oh look at that, at one and three quarters. So I'm going to have to cut into another piece. So there's one. Look at that little tiny piece left over. Let me grab my other piece because they're not wide enough. Definitely not. Gorgeous papers, the Sea Silhouette. Which is beautiful. So to save here, I'm just going to pop that to one side, and I'm just going to cut the strip at one and three quarters. So I've, I've got all that left over. I'm going to pop that back in there. And then I can cut this at five and a quarter. I've got my pieces and I've got all this left over. So there go in my scraps. Now we can take the blade and turn the board over because I need it to score. Can you just wait there a minute? I think there's somebody at the door. I'm back. I'm sorry about that. It was the door. It was uh, a gentleman delivering my uh, parcel. So, right, we're going to do our scoring now. So I'm going to take my, just my bone folder. And on the large side, we're going to score this at, at two and three quarters. You're going to flip it round and go do it again at two and three quarters. So we will fold and burnish those and they will meet right in the centre making sure your card lines up perfectly at the bottom and at the top and you're just going to crease and then making sure it lines up right along the top and crease so there's your gatefold section of this card now these little pieces, what you're going to do, you're going to put these in, you're going to score these at three eighths of an inch, just on one side, and bob them over, and this one, three eighths of an inch, and we're going to flip this over, and then this piece, we're just going to pop it in and we're going to score this at half inch. There we go, so that's our scoring done. And I shall hold that up for you. It's there, 
11, uh, CS, CS is cardstock, it's 11 by 5.5 and, and then you want a piece that is uh, 2 at 2 and 3 quarters by 3 and 7 eighths, 1 at 6 by 3 and then these are your designer series papers, you want 2 of those, 2 of those, 1 of those, don't worry about that one, it's, uh, it's literally that cut in half. So, two and three quarters by three and seven eighths, six by three, and then these are five and a quarter by three and a quarter, two at one and three quarters by five and a quarter, and two at two and a half by five and a half. Perfect. So you can go now and grab all your stuff, we can do it together. Now, I've already got myself a little template. You score this at three eighths fold it over which is two and three quarters by three and seven eighths and this is for a five and a half by eleven card size you fold that over then what you do you draw a line from after the points I did it I've done it at a half inch but you draw from the corner to the corner and from that corner to that corner so I can show you on one I'm going to do it on the reverse that way we can rub it out or just leave it there because it's on the reverse. Just take a little pencil and draw a line straight through the centre, making sure you stay on your points. So you're just finding the, the centre of your card basically and then we're going to cut that section away. And then if you want to keep it, if, you, if you're going to make it lots, to say if you're doing this all the time, just bob that in your little stash. And then what you do with the second one, you just basically lay that over the top. And then you just trim away. Or you can draw a fine line. I prefer to draw a fine line, making sure those points are on them points. Draw a fine line. And then we can trim them away. But you can also make a template and keep hold of it for future cards. So you find in the centre and that's the bit you want to find the centre of not this piece as well because otherwise your points would come too far past Oops. Touch somewhere. there we go so and then you can just grab a rubber if you've got any marks left over or if you do like I've done here on the reverse, you can rub them out if you want. No one's going to see them. Whoops. And I'm just taking them off there as well. No one's going to see these because they're going to get glued down. But if you do it on the reverse, you see what I mean. You don't have to do the rubbing out. So those, you can disregard those now. You don't need those. making sure I've got no marks on these two pieces and we're going to add double sided tape here and here and also we're going to add some double sided tape on this flap as well. So first of all I'm going to mark the inside of my card. It's five and a half. So I want two and three quarters and I'm just making a little dot there. It's only for me and then this one is three and a half so I'm going to make a little dot at one and three quarters and I'm just putting a tiny little dot there and the reason for that is when we come to attach this piece to our card I know that is bang in the centre 
and you've got the even gap either side. Yay! And then we can rub that little dot out later. So, first of all, we've got to now attach our designer series paper to this section because we need to uh, glue it all the way down because we're going to take the centre piece out. So, I'm going to use... Oh, and by the way, I just had this delivered. Um, the gorgeous Fiona Mollison sent me this. She asked me to give it a go. She's, I've, I've seen lots of people use it, and it's mainly for when you're making albums and big projects. Apparently, this stuff is really super strong, quick drying, um, and it's great for large areas. So I'm going to give it a go. Oh, look at that. It comes straight. I wonder if you have to break the seal. I don't obviously want a nozzle that wide. So perhaps I will... I don't know. Add the bit. Oh. I don't like to open it too much. Let me just grab a scrap of paper. Let me see. And it dries clear and it dries and it stops your card from warping apparently. You won't, I mean, I'm still going to use my art glit glue. Oh, look at that. Lovely. And you can spread it out. I'm just going to leave that to dry. It'll just go off pretty quick. Smells nice. Mm. Oh, it smells like, mm, I don't know, but it's nice. I'm going to leave that to dry there just to test it. So let's have a little go on this because it's a large area. And I'm using it sparingly. You don't have to open the nozzle very wide. Because I need this to be glued all the way down. Oh, smells lovely, but it's chemically smelling, if you know what I mean. So, nice border. And it gives me that little bit of wiggle space as well. Bone folder. I have seen uh, quite a few people use this, but we're going to definitely use tape on our flaps because I'm going to use my Zuck Wang tape. I'm waiting for my half inch to come back in, uh, come on a delivery. So I'm using one eighth, so I'm going to put two strips on this just to make sure. And I always rub down with the blade at the block to get, a, get rid of any air bubbles. That way your card will stay together longer. Perfect, and then we're going to add tape on our little flaps here, just along the score line, or just below the score line, should I say. Thing is, I don't have enough to do two rows, but that's fine. Whoops! Come on, now, get that glue smells beautiful. Beautiful. So we've added our tapes. I don't need my block for a minute. So we've got our tape and now I am got to go and cut this out. Just a circle. And then when we go through I will be cutting these two together. And if you've noticed I've got marks on mine, that's just so I can line them up and I know that's the centre. And I prefer to do these two together. Once I've laid that down, I can line them up. They're not perfectly bang on, but some of them are. And I know I'm going to get the perfect circle, which is going to go around the outside of this. And then we're going to use the centre to cut this out. So I'm not going to make any marks on this one. I'm just basically putting that little mark, or that one, at this is three and a quarter so I need one and a half one and three quarters just lining it up and then I'm just gonna hold it whilst I put it into place so that'll be two seconds you want to come down about five eighths of an inch maybe three quarters of an inch So 
so that's that piece and just pop that out we're not going to use waste this we're going to stamp on this and now I'm just going to wrap these two and these two when I can find the other one where's the other piece gone I've lost my other circle where have you gone <laughs> it's like it's eluded me right are you under there yes you are so I'm going to cut these two out and I'm also going to cut these two out making sure they line up and I'll be back in two seconds again you'll see the difference now those two sections you can save these circles for another project I would and I'm going to because I've already got this one here as well and then we can just pop our circles away later so this one will get glued on the outside of here and then when we stamp this one will get glued on the outside of here and it's only a little bit showing outside the back isn't that gorgeous so I didn't do it on that one I used the bigger one but this time I can glue that and there's less to see but this is going to be the back so when you open the card it's not just plain white you can see the back of the card absolutely love this so I'm going to use my art glitter glue just love it just having a little bit of glue all the way around and I'm going to pop this right on top and you can always check from behind that you've got it lined up perfectly because you can't see any of it now but that is just going to add a beautiful decoration and should I stamp first? I'm going to stamp the word smile first and then I'll glue that section on as well while I've got the glue out so you don't have to be straight on here you just want to try and keep it in the middle if possible gorgeous absolutely gorgeous I haven't stamped in a while because I've been doing projects like the albums and the flip albums and stuff like that so I haven't really done a lot of stamping for a while so get my glue and again just a little top around the outside so it's nice to actually get back to because making some cards and then I'm just gonna pop this just around the outside to give that a bit of decoration and you can just check from the back that you've got it quite evenly spaced I'm gonna we're gonna do some more stamping in a moment but I'm just gonna pop these away love it so this is gonna go on the front of our card and I'll show you how to attach this as well so now for our look let's dry in oh it's drying nice not warp the card or anything yeah nice right <laughs> now for our sections we're gonna glue these on the front ice cream man's about oh I've lost a piece Let's that gun walk about again gosh I'm having no luck am I with the uh, my DSP there it is <laughs> bits everywhere Oh, first of all, no, we'll do the joining in a minute. First of all, I'm just going to, that's why I line that up. So I can line that up perfect at the bottom and it's in the centre. 
and again just grab your little pencil and just draw a faint little line around the outside perfect so we know when we put our thing back down that we can uh, stamp so I'm going to stamp the inside message and I know I can keep it straight so I'm marking it up at that line making sure that's straight perfect absolute perfect so we've got it in the centre, we've got it to where we want it and if you're doing a bigger sentiment that would really come in handy for that. So that's that, that's the black all sorted. So now you can just rub out your lines. That's why we only do a faint uh, line so you can, when you do rub out it's all gone. There we go, beautiful. Love this rubber. It's so cute. Mapped. Made in China. Oh, I, I had that from the ring. So, let's get to gluing our panels on now. So we've got two for the inside. And the reason these are smaller is because it's going to give you a guide as to where you put your little triangle shapes. not a directional paper so you don't have to worry if you do have a directional paper please make sure it's the right way up and give yourself a nice little healthy border all the way around and then just knock out all the air that might be in there again on this way I love this paper I think it's gorgeous Then again, same with this side. Nice little border. Looks pretty level to me. So I'll just get out any air. Stunning. Now we can add our panels on the front. And these are just a quarter of an inch smaller all the way around. You could add full panels on the inside, but then you'd have to do some marking and then you might not get all your markings off your DSP, hence the reason I'm doing it like this. So, pop your first one, get that down and glue your second one and then when we come to line this up, we just close and keep make sure our borders are the same distance. It's so warm here in Swansea today. Oh my goodness, it's like 28 degrees. And this is, what's today? Today is Thursday the 27th. So I'm just closing this so I can line up my DSP on this side. Keep it level all the way to this side. Perfect. Isn't that gorgeous? Love it. So I'm going to pop the glue. No, we're not. No, we're not. No, we're not. Right. I'm just going to mark that up again. Hence for that. And then close this one side. Add glue. Oh my goodness, so just keep that into place. So, smile. We want just glue on this half. So I'm going to close this just like that into place. The reason we're not sticking this down yet is because we've got to put our mechanism in first. Close this over. 
check where your glue is and then you can just line that up so you know you've covered your centerpiece so when the card is closed it will fit perfectly so while the glue is out now you're just gonna put a little tot of glue along the bottom I'd say about half an inch now this is where we line those dots up again and I know that is the centre of my card and that is the centre of this piece and then we can just glue that bottom bit down now we can remove our little dot and no one would ever even know it was there isn't that lovely so we keep this panel open for now whilst we line these panels up and this section goes along the edge of your designer series paper so you've got the perfect distance so I want to make sure we are up so when we close the card it slides across to the center it looks pretty good to me so I'm just going to remove the backing off the first one and slip that under hence I'm just pulling backwards now until I line up with that side of the DSP and then I can just firmly put that down and then you can even do a test run you know it's going to shut then in the centre. Perfect. And then with this piece we're just going to do exactly the same. So I didn't want tape all the way to the edge anyway but just now slide that to the centre. Just come backwards hence I'm holding the, the tape away from the card until I get it lined up. And then I can just squish it down. There we have it. Now for this piece, we can just pull these back, take off our tape and then line that up and it's perfect. So holding these two flaps backwards like this, just close. and line up your card perfectly beautiful oh I'm sorry for sniffling and then we can do a test run and that closes virtually all the way to the centre how perfect is that I've just got a little fraction to show it off the back of this one for some reason Maybe my card was cut a little bit skew with, but it's not too noticeable. And then open we go. Isn't that great? I love it. I'm going to give these a good burnish. Burnish the inside of the card as well, even. And I'm not going to rub from the back. So I'm just going to grab my gorgeous little flower which I used the blue one, or well, bluey green it is, and I'm just going to pop that over the top, and now I can get my beautiful stones, I'm going to add a touch of glue, just in the centre, just to keep my little rhinestone in place, she says when she can get the lid on, then I'm going to take my pokey tool. You can pick any colours of these if you want. Uh, I might even choose the blue this time. So just pop that in the centre of your little flower. Oops. Position it just right and then leave it to dry. And then what I did was just found a nice white space and I did 
two more gems. So there's a nice big white space there. Fetch the bow maker in because I'm uh, I'm not the best. <laughs> I've got the tails a little bit longer on this one. I cut the other one too short, so. Just line that up in the centre and pull. Nice and tight. Beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. And then you can face your tails whichever way you want them. And you've got that gorgeous little bow. Perfect. So let's position before we trim off. And I'm just going to bob that right across there. So again, I'm just going to grab some of my little thin tip. I love this. It's so strong. But you can use glue dots if you want. I don't think they last five minutes. So I'm just cutting myself about an inch. And I'm going to lay that right across the back. Check my tails first. Just gonna lay that right across the back of my ribbon. It's so thin you can't see it. Just squeeze it down, pull off the back, and then position. Just perfect. Lovely. And now you can do what you want with your tails. You could add a little glue dot underneath to keep them down. But you'd have to do it onto there, not onto the card, because otherwise you won't be able to open it. So I'm just going to tidy up these ends. A little bit there. A little bit there. Just check. I think I may have to come on with a little bit more off that one. a tiny little bit there we have it there is that beautiful beautiful gatefold shutter card with a hidden message inside and you can close it so you can still see the message and your card will stay stood up on your, the recipient's desk Oh, I didn't add my leaves. I added leaves on here. I did, forgot to do it on this one. Oh, bless. So you could actually stamp them on these panels or just leave it. So I'm going to leave with this one, even though I got it out ready. But there we go. My gatefold uh, shutter card made simple. <laughs> I hope you enjoy. I hope you uh, get to make one. And if you do, I'd love to see them in group. This is slightly bigger than that, but I think it's just perfect. You could jazz these up with some more. You could even make a little belly band if you wanted to, but it would be pretty high up. And then I have this attached to the belly band, but I think that's going to stay flat enough for somebody. And when you posted it, I think it would be just perfect. So, we've got green gems, we've got blue gems, and that is not going anywhere now. And these gorgeous ribbons. I love it, love it, love it. I would really appreciate a thumbs up. That would be amazing. And if you've not subscribed to my channel yet, I would really appreciate it if you did. Um, I do tend to post every day. So if you want to see what I make tomorrow, just press the little bell and I'll see you on the other side. Thanks for watching, love. Take care. Love you all. Bye.